Rapid Response Team Alpha, Security Chief Blanchard. Hey everyone, it's an aging zombie here. In today's video, I'm going to go over how to craft the wonder weapon in Liberty Falls here, which is the Thrustodyne M23, aka the jet gun. And the first thing I like to do for it is to jump up here to get those zombies to come out. And technically, that step you can do whenever. I just like to do it early in the round here because it just gives a couple extra zombies to give you a little bit more essence from the start. Once you kind of clean them up, you can come on up here. And this is the room where we will be crafting the jet gun. Okay, now to start working on the getting the parts, we're going to come over this way. The first thing we need to grab is a water valve. And that is going to be located here in front of Lily's flower pot on Washington Ave. It is this water valve right here. And we are going to take that over to the bowling alley. All right, so now that we're in the bowling alley, we're going to come over to this panel over here. You want to melee it to open it. And then you want to place the valve, and then you have to hold to turn. And you'll notice the progress bar coming over on the left-hand side of my screen under the map. And this will spawn zombies, and apparently it is an infinite amount of zombies, so they are not round zombies. You will need to kind of leave the valve and then kind of come back. If you notice, the progress does save. It does not save indefinitely, though, so you do need to get back to it. Just kind of... Every now and then, oh, that was a little foolish. I'm going to kind of run out of here for a sec. Get them really kind of far away. Maybe throw a stun out, try and get some of them there. Is this going to be it? Eh, eh, eh. Got it. Oh, boy. That took quite a few passes there, but if you notice, once you do get it, they all die, and then you get this water pressure gauge, so we're going to pick that up. Oh, and I need ammo. Alright, so the next thing we need is a key from a special zombie that spawns over here in the cemetery. Now, from my understanding, the zombie spawns randomly, and it is the groundskeeper that spawns. So it is a named zombie. He looks a little different than normal, than like a normal zombie. And you kill him, and he should be dropping a key. So I'll have to get through this um, special round, and then hopefully he spawns next round. Oh, he spawned during this round. Look at that. There he is. Now, I have, uh, I have like, the names and health bars of things turned off. So, if you have the, if you have that turned on, you'll see it says groundskeeper. But he drops his tool shed key. So, I'm going to pick up the tool shed key. And then I need some more essence to make it to that building there. Now, I definitely can go around, but I'm going to be a little stubborn on it and just get some more essence. All right, so I've got the essence here. We can buy that. Come over to this shed over here. Open it on up, and we will see... Oh, hello, buddy. And we will see the handbrake. So we're going to pick up that, and that is the next piece that we need for the check gun. All right, now the next thing we're going to need is... We're going to need the cannon from a mangler. Now, you can... Uh, craft one. You can go ahead and craft one of those. However, I'm going to wait until the mangler from round like 10 and above spawns and get it free that way. So I'm going to just kind of farm zombies. This is kind of a fun farming spot. I like the bowling alley here. I'm going to farm zombies and work through the rounds until the mangler spawns to get his arm cannon. Alright, so we are in round 10 here. So hopefully the mangler spawns right away. Well, we didn't get a mangler that round. That's okay. I'm going to go pack a punch my weapon and hope he spawns in. Oh, I hear him. There you are. Okay. 
We gotta shoot his arm. Whoop. I dropped. Come on, drop your arm. Yeah, there we go. Gonna pick that up. Oh! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to my health. He's pissed. Alright, now that we have the mangler arm, we're gonna come down here. This is gonna be kind of off to the side to, of where the start is, to this radio house. We're gonna go ahead and use the mangler arm and shoot open the door here. And we're gonna see some piles here. Oh boy, hello! Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> um, but there should be apparently some piles around that you have to dig up. And there should be some cables that come out. Not that. Is that one? Oh, oh. Oh, I thought I had left one zombie. All right, we'll take you out. So I dug up this pile. That came up. This is this a pile? There we go. Electrical wire. So we're going to grab that. And that is the last thing we need to craft the jet gun. So we're going to come back over here. Go ahead and craft away. And there we have it. The Thrustodyne M23, a.k.a. the Jet Gun. Pretty quick and easy for this one. Uh, not too challenging. The only challenging part, especially as a solo, is using the water valve um, in the bowling alley. I think that's about the hardest part. Definitely took me quite a few passes on it to get it taken care of. Uh, one thing I do think that might work is smoke grenades. I feel like I've heard smoke grenades are pretty good at, like, distracting zombies and they don't, like, attack you. So, maybe having to do that. Alright, and that's going to do it for this video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Until the next one, peace.